वेलकम बैक टू द सी प्रोग्रामिंग लेक्चर सीरीज एंड इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी आर गोइंग टू जनरेट ए फिबनॉकी सीरीज वी आर गोइंग टू जनरेट इट एंड वी आर गोइंग टू प्रिंट द फिबनॉकी सीरीज ऑन अवर स्क्रीन सो वी विल स्टार्ट विद द डेफिनेशन ऑफ फिबनॉकी सीरीज वॉट इज फिबनॉकी सीरीज बेसिकली वॉट इज फिबनॉकी सीरीज इट इज द सीरीज विच स्टार्ट फ्रॉम जीरो द फर्स्ट फर्स्ट टर्म ऑफ द सीरीज इज जीरो सेकेंड टर्म इज वन एंड द थर्ड टर्म थर्ड टर्म इज द सम ऑफ प्रीवियस टू सो वन प्लस जीरो इज इक्वल टू वन now next term will be equal to the sum of previous two previous two are 1 and 1 and sum of 1 and 1 is 2 similarly next term will be 2 plus 1 which will be the sum of the previous two terms that is 3 similarly next term will be 3 plus 2 it is 5 similarly 5 plus 3 is equal to 8 so go on and go on but we have to mention up to which number this series should be generated we have to mention any number uh, so that we can check a condition that last number of the series should be less than that number suppose we have to generate a fibonacci series up to 100 so the last term will be i think 89 which is the last number of this which is last number of the series which is less than or equal to this 100 but this is less than 100 so after 89 uh, the next number will be greater than 100 so that number will not come in this series so we have to mention up to which number we have to generate this series suppose we will generate this series up to 13 first we will generate it up to 13 then we will try to generate it up to 100 we will start by making a program for this and i will explain that program with the help of memory map let me start so i have uh, i have to open my code blocks you can use your own editor whichever you are using i will create a new project then i will go to console application go next i will select c because we are uh, developing c programming tutorial series next then i will give it a name you can give it any name i will give f i b n o n a c i i fibonacci okay f i b sorry f i b o n a c i i fibonacci series okay next i will first i will uh, show you fibonacci and it will be saved on desktop next then i will click finish so you can see my folder here on the desktop fibonacci so i will generate a fibonacci series with the help of this program here source is main.c and i will zoom it so i will delete this text here now i will try to, uh, i will uh, write a code for this first i will declare three integer variables in a comma b comma c these are the variables with the help of which i will generate a fibonacci series okay so i will initialize a to 0 and b to 1 okay then i will write um, then i will first print this a 0 and 1 because 0 and 1 i have to print myself okay i will write print f first i will give it a message fibonacci series f i b o n a c i i fibonacci series okay here i will give this and new line okay now i will write print f and here i will write the first number as a so i will write percent d comma percent d here value of a 0 will get printed and value of b 1 will get printed and i will write comma a comma b so a is 0 and b is 1 these will get printed now i i will write here c is equal to a plus b then i will uh, use a loop while here i will write while i want i want to generate this series up to 13 maximum 13 okay starting from 0 and it will go up to 13 so while c is less than or equal to 13 so i have to write here i have to write here print f person d first i will write because uh, this series will be Uh, will be added to this so here i have inserted a space and comma so here i will also in insert a space and comma okay or i can no no i will insert a space then comma okay then again space so that after this b space will be added then comma will be added then again space will be added then c next number of the series will be printed okay then i will write 
I will assign A is equal to B. I will assign the value of B to A and value of C to B. B is equal to C. You don't worry, I will explain it with the help of memory map so that it will be clear to you. So here I have to give an increment to this C. But what kind of increment I will give to this C? C is equal to, I have to again write this step. C is equal to A plus B. A plus B. C is equal to A plus B. So I have written here C is equal to A plus B. Why I have written so it will be explained to you with the help of memory map. Now my uh, program is complete. I will uh, run it first. You can see the Fibonacci series will be generated up to 13. But uh, this is not working proper. I will see what um, error occurred here. Oh, this is uh, this is what is causing the problem. We have not written what should be the value of person D here. I have to write C. Okay. Now I will run this. It will be perfectly all right. This is 0, 1, then 0 plus 1 is equal to 1, 1 plus 1 is equal to 2, 2 plus 1 is equal to 3, 3 plus 2 is equal to 5, 5 plus 3 is equal to 8, 13. So I can change this the value of this 13. I can write it 100 so that it will generate a Fibonacci series up to 100. You can run it and you can see the series is generated up to 100. But 100 is not the part of the series. So 89 is the last term which is less than 100. Okay. I have here a condition that it should be less than or equal to 100. Okay. So now I will explain a memory map so that this will be clear to you what is the logic behind this. How this works. Okay. First C. I have declared variables A and B and C. The whole series will be generated with the help of these three variables. Okay. First, I am initializing A to 0. So I will write here 0 and B to 1. I will write here 1. Then print a Fibonacci series. Okay. Then it will be our screen will write Fibonacci series and we'll insert this. Okay. Print a person D A will get printed and person D B will get printed. Okay. What is the value of A? Value of A is 0 and value of B is 1. So A will get printed 0, then space, then comma, then this person D, so B will get printed as 1. Then C is equal to A plus B. Here is our screen and this is only happening in memory. This will not be printed. Okay. This thing I am printing. Whatever is printing is here and whatever is in the memory is here. Okay. So here I have to write c is equal to a plus b in the memory this is not getting printed this is actually happening in the inside the memory c is equal to a plus b 0 plus 1 is equal to 1 c is equal to 1 okay while c is less than 100 yes less than or equal to 100 yes 1 is less than and it is it is not equal to 100 but it is less than 100 okay so it will enter into the block okay into this block while block print f person d c so c value of c is 1 and it will get printed here but first comma will get printed and then value of c will get printed so first comma will get printed then the value of c which is 1 will get printed okay then a is equal to b a a will a will get the value of b what is inside the b inside b it is 1 and previous value of a will get replaced with this one so a is equal to b a will get the value of this b okay and b is equal to c and b previous value of 1 is b it will get replaced with the new value that is c but the value of both is same but i have to logically i have to write the value of this c into inside this b so i will write it 1 because currently c is holding 1 okay c is equal to a plus b c is equal to 1 plus 1 that is 2 okay i have to move again inside the loop because my loops condition is not uh, um, false this time so it, 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 it will again check this condition and where it will find that C is again less than 100. Okay, less than or equal to 100. So the condition is true. It will again enter into this block. So print f person D value of C. First, this comma will get printed and the value of C, which is 2. Here you can see this 2 will get printed here. Okay, then A is equal to B. A will get the value of B that is 1 and B is equal to C. B will get the value of C that is 2. Okay, C is equal to A plus B. A plus B is equal to 3 that will get uh, assigned into the C then uh, my loop will check again is this C less than or equal to 100 so it will again enter inside this block where it has to print the previous value of C, the memory value of C what is the memory value of C that is 3 and for, before that it has to write this comma so comma 3 okay similarly A is equal to B A is equal to 2 
B is equal to C. B is equal to C. C has the value of 3 and that will get assigned into the B. And C is equal to A plus B. C will become 5. Similarly, this process will go on and go on till it will be, the condition will be less than or equal to 100. Okay. Or we can, uh, we can do one thing. We can uh, iterate it up to only 13. Okay. So, I will write here only 13 because 100 is too lengthy. I will write it 13 and I will check it. C. Uh, so again it will enter inside the loop and it will print print f the value of c okay first it will write comma because condition is still true 5 is less than 13 and here it will print c the value of c here is 5 okay then a is equal to b a will become 3 because the value inside the b is 3 which will be assigned to this a and b is equal to c the value inside the b will get assigned with this value that is present in c so 5 will come here and c is equal to a plus b so this c will become 3 plus 5 that is 8 okay so again it will check the condition of this loop which is uh, which is checking that c should be less than or equal to 13 still 8 is less than or equal to 13 yes the condition is true and it will again enter inside the block okay where it is uh, first print f comma and this c so i will write comma and this c the value of c is this 8 and this 8 will get printed then a is equal to b a will become the value of b is 5 a will a will get new value that is 5 and the value of b will get replaced with the value of c so this b will get the value of c that is 8 and c is equal to a plus b this will become 5 plus 8 that is 13 okay again it will check the condition at it will enter inside this block where it will find that um, i have to print this c c is 13 first it has to insert a comma then it has to print 13 okay and a is equal to b a will become 8 b is equal to c b will become 13 and c is equal to a plus b 13 plus 8 13 plus 8 is 8 21 okay so it will become 21 now it will again move in to check this condition whether a whether c is less than or equal to 13 but it is not less than or equal to 13 it is greater than 13 that is 21 so this time this will move out of this loop and our program will get terminated and our series will get generated so i will show you this is working perfectly fine and our series is generated from 0 to 13. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe our channel Industry Technologies.